Robin Harris was a funny, funny, funny guy. And he died way, way, way too early. Before there was Cat Williams, before there was Mike Epps, before there was this guy right here, this Cam guy. By the way, does anybody think this guy's funny? I'm not really sure, the jury's still out on this guy. Before all those guys, there was a man, very, very hilarious man, his name was Robin Harris. Uh, Robin was born August 30th, 1953 in Chicago, Illinois. And when he was about seven, eight years old, his family moved out here to Los Angeles. And uh, this was where he was raised. And he, after graduating Manual Arts High School, which is not very far from this very location, uh, he went out to Kansas to Ottawa University, studying something. Not really sure what he was studying out there. So after that, he comes back to Los Angeles because he wants to be a stand-up comic. So he's trying his hand in doing stand-up, pretty rough business. And he was funny. And he was actually so funny, he was hired as the Masters of Ceremonies at the, uh, I guess it's called the Comedy Act Theater, somewhere out here, it's a famous club. And he did that as a job for a while, and then he was discovered and actually offered a role. So I guess you could say this was his big screen debut in the movie, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. I believe that movie was with Keenan Ivory Wayans, or one of the Wayans brothers. Uh, and he would go on to, to play roles in uh, a couple other different movies, uh, Harlem Nights. Uh, he played in Do the Right Thing. He was Kid's dad in the House Party movies, right? Very, very funny in that role. And so on March 18th, 1990, uh, Robin Harris had played to a sold out crowd in Chicago, Illinois. And after the show, I'm assuming he's hanging out with his friends and his family or what have you. And then he retires to his room at the Four Seasons Hotel. And that is where he died. Uh, his brother discovered his body the following day. And uh, he was flown home at interred at the mausoleum here at the Inglewood Cemetery. There's quite a number of well-known actors, actresses, politicians, just um, entertainers uh, extraordinaire. Uh, at this cemetery and this place is actually one of my favorite mausoleums is here on the grounds here at the Inglewood Cemetery and let me tell you it's so odd to see this guy do stand-up and to realize that I'm seven years older than he was when he died is absolutely mind-boggling to me there was a story it was a really funny story of uh, Vlad TV, this guy John Sally was telling a story about how one time Robin Harris was trying to roast uh, Tiny Lister. <laughs> Tiny didn't appreciate it and he got up on stage and uh, basically put a stop to that. That was a pretty funny story. So we're gonna go into this mausoleum and visit the final resting place of one of the funniest guys that ever was. And this right here is Robin Harris. And got some people with the last name Harris next to him. I don't know if they're related or not, but uh, anyways. Nonetheless, rest in peace to Mr. Robin Harris. If you guys don't uh, know about him or about his comedy, you need to go on YouTube and go watch some of his stuff. Very, very, very funny guy. Most definitely. Love me some Robin Harris. Rest in peace, brother. All right, guys. You know how I do. You know how I roll. I'm out of here. I'll catch up with you on the next one.
Peace out.